Welcome back. Today, I am sharing with you an incredible story of Nusaiba binti Kaab, one of the first woman warrior of Islam. Nusaiba binti Kaab was born around the year 594 AD in the city of Medina. She belonged to the Banu Najjar tribe, one of the prominent Jewish tribes in the area. Nusaiba grew up in a society deeply rooted in tribal traditions and was known for her intelligence, bravery, and strong character. When Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him began preaching the message of Islam, Nusaiba, along with her husband and her two sons, embraced the faith. She was among the first women to actively participate in battles alongside the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, demonstrating exceptional courage and skill as a warrior. One of the most significant moments in Nusaiba's life occurred during the Battle of Uhud in 625 AD. The Muslim army faced a fierce onslaught from the Meccan Quraysh tribe, Nusaiba fought alongside her male counterparts. Amidst the chaos, the Prophet's life was in grave danger, and Nusaiba fearlessly stood her ground, shielding him from harm and fighting off the attackers. Despite sustaining multiple injuries, she refused to back down, displaying remarkable bravery and loyalty. After the Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him passing in 632 AD, Nusaiba continued to serve as a respected figure among the Muslims. Nusaiba binti Kaab passed away in the year 677 AD, leaving behind a legacy of courage and dedication to the cause of Islam. Nusaiba's life serves as a testament to the fact that women played a significant role in the early days of Islam, not only as nurturers and caretakers, but also as warriors and leaders. If you found this information fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating explorations. Stay tuned for our next episode.